ASIC rail options are beautiful, high-quality rail systems that have no visible fasteners. With three distinct styles, Premier, Trademark, and Reserve, there is an ASEC rail to accent the beauty of any ASEC deck. This video will guide you through the baluster's install for all three ASEC rail systems. Railing is sold in 6-foot and 8-foot rail packs and can accommodate straight and stair applications. A 10-foot rail pack in white and black is also available. Rail packs include one top rail, one bottom rail, two support rails, foot blocks, hardware, and a template that makes mounting brackets quick and easy. Rail kits, which include the railing and the composite balusters, are available in select styles. Custom rail packs are also available without the pre-drilled holes to be used when installing aluminum balusters, cable, or glass infills. Balusters are sold in baluster packs for 36-inch and 42-inch heights and in quantities of 18 for composite and 20 for aluminum, which is enough to complete up to an 8-foot section. Baluster fastener kits included in the baluster packs contain all necessary fasteners. Post sleeves, post caps, and post skirts are sold separately. And be sure to consider AZEC lighting before installing railing. View the AZEC lighting video for more details. Be sure to consult local building codes prior to installation. First, cut your post sleeves to the desired length. Place the post sleeves over the 4x4 posts. 4x4 posts must be plumb and be no more than 8 feet from center to center of post, unless using a 10-foot rail section. AZEC rail also works with AZEC's secure mount post. Install skirts by sliding them over the post sleeves. Use the included template to install the lower support blocks. Position template at the bottom of the post sleeve, resting it on top of the post skirt. Pre-drill the post sleeve with a 764th inch drill bit. Secure lower support blocks to post with two number 8 by 3 inch screws. Next, measure the distance between post to post near the bottom. Cut the bottom support rail to length. Position mounting brackets at each end of the bottom support rail. Pre-drill with a 764th inch drill bit. Attach mounting brackets with the provided number 8 by 3 quarter inch screws. Secure foot blocks to the bottom support rail with number 8 by 3 inch screws. One foot block for a section up to 6 feet, two for a section up to 8 feet, and three for a section up to 10 feet. Now, position bottom support rail onto the support blocks. Pre-drill 7 64th inch holes through the post sleeve into the post through the holes in the mounting brackets. Secure bottom support rail using brackets with number 8 by 3 inch screws. To build the baluster assembly, determine whether there will be a space or a baluster in the center of the rail. If installing aluminum balusters, mark the aluminum baluster locations by pre-drilling through the top support rail and bottom rail with a 3 16th inch drill bit. The support rail has a laser etched template to show these locations. After ensuring the distance between posts is the same on the top and bottom, nest the bottom rail and top support rail. It is helpful to use a couple 2-inch screws to keep the baluster holes aligned while cutting these rails. Cut the bottom rail and top support rail to length. Lay out balusters along the top support rail, aligning them with the pre-drilled holes, then fasten them with the provided number 8 by 3-inch screws. Next. Attach the bottom rail to the balusters using the number 8 by 2 inch screws. Start all screws partially, then go back and fully tighten them. Position mounting brackets at each end of the top support rail, pre-drill with the 7 64th inch drill bit. Attach mounting brackets with the provided number 8 by 3 quarter inch screws. Place the baluster assembly over the already installed support rail. Pre-drill 7 64th inch holes through the post using the holes on the mounting brackets. Secure top support rail to post using the brackets with number 8 by 3 inch screws. Next, measure and cut top rail to length. Trim both ends for a clean cut. 
Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, pre-drill screw holes down through the top support rail. Attach the top rail to the top support rail with number 8 by 1 and 3 quarter inch screws. Finish off the railing system by placing the post caps on the post sleeves. If desired, secure using exterior grade caulk applied to the underside of the cap.